Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share my latest make with you. So everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and I've popped links to all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't waste a whole week, do jump on and have a look at our Instagram account where we share posts every day on the grid. So let's get started with what I've made, which is this McCall's pattern. It's 8041 and I've made it in this beautiful, silky soft, drapey, viscose fabric in the most gorgeous emerald green colour. I absolutely love it. I'll just show you, give you a little twirl. So we've got a continuous placket at the front here. I've sewn little silver buttons onto there. Um, there's a little collar, there's no collar stand, so the collar just comes out of the continuous placket. There's a yoke at the back with a little bit of gathering underneath it. And then you've got cuffs with a double um, fastening there, buttonhole fastening. And then it's a really nice, contemporary um, boxy sort of loose fitting shape which I really like so I like to tuck mine into my jeans but if you prefer having a loose fit um, it's great for that you can have it hanging out as well um, as I say I like tucking mine into my jeans I've made this twice now this pattern because I like it so much and I get so much wear out of it but I just love it in this bold green floral print I'm so so happy with it and in the autumn winter it is a really lightweight viscose but I like to just layer it up with a cardigan with my favorite jeans and I just feel a little bit more put together than if I was just wearing a jumper I just feel like there's a bit more interest a bit more color to my outfit and that gives me a little lift and a little boost in these miserable winter months that we get here in the UK so as I mentioned the pattern is McCall's 8041 and um, it's the second time I've made this I previously made it in um, a lovely crepe navy crepe with a white polka dot on it I've worn it so much and I came up with this idea previously and didn't get around to sewing it and then I've just managed to get some more of the fabric so I wanted to be able to get plenty of the fabric in so we have got plenty of it guys don't worry about that um, and yeah I've made it my second version which was great because I was able to learn from the first version as well um, but I'll just talk you through the patterns the sizes run from a 6 to a 22 a 6 is a 30 and a half bust 23 waist and a 32 and a half hip and a 22 is a 44 bust 37 waist and 46 hip I made I can't remember if I graded from a 12 to a 14 or if I just made a straight size 12 because it's such a loose fit. Um, oh no, I did grade. I did grade out to a 14 at the waist because um, I always sit, I'm usually a 12 on the top, 14 for the waist and hips. So I did choose to grade and have that extra sort of um, width in the at the waist. Um, but yeah, really love this pattern. I think it's so contemporary. You can make it with patch pockets as well. It would look great in a plain fabric as well. Just one of those things I reach for time and time again in my wardrobe. And as I said, I like the way it feels quite put together, but it's not as formal as a tailored shirt. It's a bit more relaxed, but because of the collar and the buttons, just feels, you know, quite smart, casual, I suppose. Um, in terms of the fabric, yeah, it's a viscose, it's a Lady McElroy. Um, absolutely love this colour, just love the print. I've always loved this from the day we got it, but yeah, we, we couldn't get any for a while and now we've got plenty in stock. Um, so as always, I've linked everything below anyway. Find the pattern, the fabric, everything else you need below. Um, in terms of any adjustments I made, I just made my usual high round back and forward shoulder adjustment, which I always have to make some hunched at the um a bit hunched at the top um there is videos on our channel showing you how to make those alterations to your patterns if that's something you struggle with um and i graded as i said from a 12 to a 14 but other than that i didn't make any adjustments and that's one of the great things about this pattern because it's a nice loose fit there aren't even any bust starts um you know it is an easy to fit pattern so it's great from that point of view and then you can just focus on the construction 
and just working on those nice sewing details like your buttonholes, your cuffs, your collar. Um, in terms of the construction, the continuous placket can be a bit of a head scratcher if you haven't done one before. So I got caught out a few years ago, early on in my sewing career, with a birder pattern that had a similar design to this. So a continuous placket is when it's like a, it's a neck band that protrudes the, um, it, it finishes the edge of the bodice off, but it actually stands out from the bodice it's not tucked underneath um, and the way that you apply it is quite counterintuitive you don't match the shapes up you almost have to do opposites um, and I got caught out by that a few years ago on a birder pattern and then a couple of people said they tried this pattern and got a little bit confused with it um, so I actually did a really in-depth tutorial of exactly how to attach the continuous placket lots and lots of tips for making the collar um, and that is on our YouTube channel it's available on our channel now so you can find that if you just have a look at the videos on our channel um, the other thing that I talk about is the collar and just getting nice sharp points on the collar because you always want to get a nice sharp point if you can and some of the tools I use to do that are my tailors um, point presser and clapper you can find these on our website so you've got this point presser bit which is the sharp edge and you can just slide your collar over that and press and get right into the corners um, but it's really useful as well for um, things like waistbands anywhere where you need to get a sharp corner you can slide the fabric over there and get right into that corner which is often a struggle to do without one of these the clapper bit is the flat base and that is used a lot in tailoring and when working with heavier or bulkier fabrics things like denim and coating fabrics it helps you you steam the fabric and then you apply pressure with the clapper and hold it down and that encourages the steam to work its way into the fabric and to flatten those bulky seams um, so that's what that's used for so a great piece of equipment to have in your sewing arsenal and then the other thing I like to use to get nice sharp points on my collars as well it's one of these which is a corner shaper again you'll find this on our website and the point presser and clapper this is a prim love one we do another prim one we probably do a hemline one but you just wiggle that point into the corner it just helps you turn that corner through it's a pointed end but it's it's not you know it's nice and soft it's not as harsh as some things might be that might end up going through your fabric so I find that really useful so I'll pop a link to that below as well um the other thing I did on this the I had the benefit of hindsight last time I made it I sewed the buttonholes on the wrong side of the cuff um uh, to the, and the buttons on the wrong side as well so it's a bit awkward on my other version undoing the buttons on the um cuff so I learned from that mistake with this one so just a word of caution really just be careful and make sure you're concentrating when you're doing that I was like talking to my family while they were having dinner you know bad idea so that was why I messed up the first time but yeah glad to say I got it right this time and again nice sharp corners on the cuffs again using some of those tools I've just shown you um, but all in all you know once you've got this continuous placket bit worked out I, I was able to work it out because I've got a bit of experience but if you watch our tutorial it'll take you through step by step um, with that you can even add them to other patterns you will find them on other patterns as well so it's a great tutorial for that um, but other than that that's the only bit that might be a little bit tricky in my opinion the rest of it pretty straightforward and a good way to start learning some more techniques like cuffs and collars without going that full tailored shirt way um, and then ending it with just a lovely contemporary easy to wear blouse that makes me feel really put together um, and just brightens up my day in this absolutely gorgeous drapey viscose fabric that I absolutely love so I hope you've enjoyed that today as I mentioned at the start of the video you can find everything I talked about on our website and I'll link all the products below and if you like what you see please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>